A lot of times you want to get input from a user when you're programming in Python and uh, it's really tedious to have to get one line item, hit enter, enter another line item, hit enter, and so on and so forth. So there's some really interesting ways in Python you can do this, some convenient ways. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to get some user input, we're going to get multiple items on one line of input, and we're going to split those apart. So first we're going to define our input variables, uh, maybe age and size, for example. And what we're going to do is we're going to ask for input from the user, so we're going to enter strings, and we're going to do an implied split on space. So somebody's going to enter the age, and they're going to enter the size, and there's going to be a space in between. And that split, it'll assume the default is split on space. So there we go. It's going to split, and then we're going to print out A and S. And we'll run it again. I've got it over here already, but we'll run it again. Let's say 10, and small, and sure enough, age 10, size small. So one line of input gives us two different variables, broke us out. And again, based on the space in between them. If you don't remember that it's a space, you can explicitly put something else out there. I put an explicit space on the next line. It's exactly the same code. I could make it a space. I could make it a comma. I could make it a period. I could make it a dash. Anything I want to split on, I can put over there in those quotes. So let's, let's uh, go over here. And we'll enter our next line. Let's just do the same thing again. 10... S, and it gives us exactly the same results, except that I changed big S to small s, but exactly the same thing. So you can use either implicit or explicit when you're using a space to split. And the last thing is, I'm going to trap all of the inputs, so I'm going to ask for three inputs this time, I'm going to put them into a list, I'm going to break the list up into three variables, and then I'll print that. So let's go over here and do that. Let's say age 9, size small again, and gender M. And we got 9, S, and M. And there we go. So what happened was it put these three variables in here. We took this variable list and we split it based explicitly this time on spaces and we stored those into these three variables and then we printed those three variables. And that's it. Very simple, very convenient, much nicer. I used this uh, when I was doing the uh, stepping motor in the second version of it and it's much nicer to input the data like this than it is to have to put it one line at a time. Okay, well that was it for splitting and multiple inputs on one line. Hope you find it useful in your Raspberry Pi Python programming.